can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unfortunately, just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee for this show. Let's do it. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, that's as good as it gets with the combination of tie knees in the clinch. And he's not working the body, he's going on top. He's going on top. He wants to shut the lights off. And if his opponent doesn't make no changes, he's going to get that desired result. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, big knee landed by him there. Perhaps that'll give the jiu-jitsu practitioner a little pause working his way inside. Yeah, he does a good job of throwing things up the middle. If you throw knees, it really does make the grappler reconsider level changing because he's afraid to run into something like that that could end his night. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Clinch position. Look for the opponent to try to circle off of the cage. Nice punch by Rosas Jr. Beautiful body kick. Oh, who is going to be the last man standing? We're just getting started, and they are getting after it. These dudes are throwing bombs. This is going to be a great fight. Beautiful transition. All oh, right to the mound. Good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Lee. Hold on, hold you down. Keep moving. Keep moving. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Moving his head here on the ground, Chant. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. Lee getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm going to get to a dominant position myself. Attempting a choke now. That Dorse is tight. As he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Tries to work it into a takedown. Could be the beginning of the end here. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He is certainly trying to wrestle offensively tonight, but that will tend to be. We do see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not and 
anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Now some separation from his clutch position. Oh, he lands another shot. Oh, man, he's a hard. Misses again with a right punch. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, nice body shot. Rosas Jr. gets caught by the straight punch. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Beautiful body kick. And a miss with the right hook. Under a minute to go. Nice. Nicely done. Beautiful diving strike lands. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. 20 seconds left. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight and try to fix his technique. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. What a round. All right, take a seat, bud. Deep breath in. Breathe into that nose, out of that mouth. All right, here's some water. Listen. Your kicks are working hard. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Nice jab by Rosas Jr. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Rosas Jr. goes for the takedown, unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there, nothing doing on that attempt. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Oh, Rosas Jr. is trying for a submission here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Let's go. Rosas Jr. is back in full now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Now he's going full mount. Back mount now. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Rosas Jr. Great job finding his shots from the top position. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. And that's, that's the danger. 
in the engagement there. Well, his corner was oh, He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Lee's now switching his stance. Oh, the separation with clinch. Two minutes to go in the round. Kick lands. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Lee's in half guard now. He's got to be careful here. Quick hit movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet. Nicely done. Went for the inside leg kick. Rosas Jr. gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his striking time. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you cannot be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, this is kind of crazy the way this is transpiring. This jiu-jitsu fighter looks like a professional boxer here tonight. He told us about his evolution. He has absolutely taken it to the next level. He has taken it to the next level, J.A. I mean, this guy is so comfortable in the striking before in his career, early. He looked a little bit lost. He looked like he was desperate to get takedowns. Now, he seems to be comfortable everywhere. So the work that they are putting in is truly paying dividends. Here's the kick blocked by Rosas Jr. Get there, get 20 seconds to go round two. Rosas Jr. gets the double leg takedown. Let's go. We got a scramble here. Final seconds of the round. Ooh, right into side control, DC. Now trying to isolate. Oh. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rates, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Oh, these leg kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Takedown defense holds up. Nice crack there. Well, would you look at that? He has thrown and landed a ton of leg kicks to this point of the fight. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the pace to his opponent. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the guard. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier round. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises. Ooh, guillotine choke would appear to be locked in. Yes, it is. That guillotine is tight. He's looking for the finish now. Oh, 
A big part of submission defense is just being able to relax in the face of adversity. He's trying to tighten the grip on his guillotine choke. He seems to have it, but he's got to really get his... Oh, he's out! He needs to work out his position. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Lands with the ground and pound. Rubber guard form now, DC. Some people believe this is nothing more than a stall tactic. What do you think the offensive fighter is trying to do? He needs to regain his posture, right? He needs to shove that foot down, come around his neck, shove it down, build your base. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, Rosas Jr. is really pressing the issue now, and he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Lee. It's work, come on, I'll stand her up, it's work. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because the Rosas Jr. is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, arms in tight. Working hard for the armbar. He has got to get his hands unlocked if he wants to find his finish. A lot of takedown defenses are, sorry, submission defense is just being calm and patient. No, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. This is where he wants to do. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Rosas Jr. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Final seconds here. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Oh, Next three oh. rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship <laughs> rounds. Take a seat. You've got to protect that body. Keep your elbows in tight. Stay focused, okay? I want your striking to be a little bit sharper. Punches go out. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Just misses with the straight left hand. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching? Rosas Jr. is now trying for the Kimura. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Rosas Jr. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. 
I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given Darce. Yep, he's trying to hit a Darce here. That Darce is tight. How did he get out again? I have no idea how this guy has not tapped him. Change of the position. Lee's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. All right, has the guard closed here. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Takedown defense is there. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Pretty good straight punch there by Lee. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, and big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Sidekick, well done. In terms of... Oh! Yep. Oh, strike lands cleanly there, champ. He gets to the flying knee. Big knee. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Massive knee to the body land. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch lands. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is fighting them up now. Big power shot there. Uppercut there blocked by Lee. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, look at that leg kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now some distance as they pull apart. That kick, yeah, he's got to. He's got to start taking kicks. All right, 45 seconds now to go to the ref. Strike landed pretty cleanly there. Jab up top by Lee. What a great job getting that kick to the top. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh! Down, potentially five to go. All right, deep breath, deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. Let's put you. All right, so there's the end of the round. A lot of high level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive Here's into his fight. opponent, and secure right. takedown after takedown. Yeah. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice loop and punch. 
punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He gets to a spot in the tie pool. Then he starts to let the knees go. Rosas Jr. gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, another knee right to the midsection. Oh, good knees tearing into that midsection. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, nice takedown defense. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Nice punch here. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. It's a pretty fast jab. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Clean punch right there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, he's got his back. Now he's got to start trying to drag him to the ground. Then he can look for submission. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Oh, he got to his spot. Rosas Jr.'s body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side right now. It's kind of hard to look at, Daniel. Yep, that gets his deep. Oh, great submission defense. Lee grounded pound from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Lands with the grounded pound here. He's having his way with him here. Mm, nice. Oh, Rosas Jr. is able to flatten him out. This could be real trouble now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Rosas Jr. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. In the half guard. Rosas Jr.'s right back to the full mount. 45 seconds remain in the round. Going for an arm bar now. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finishing position. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. A oh, hard ground strike there. And that one opened up a cut. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the fight. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, hammer fist here by Rosas Jr. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50-45, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And can 